Operation Tyrant commenced in late 2011 when information was given to Titan by the Serious and Organised Crime Agency. That information suggested that an organised crime group headed by Jason Seal from Rochdale was importing controlled drugs from Holland. Subsequent investigation was able to show the Dutch side of the investigation which was headed up by Edwin Gawley. Jason Seal, as head of the organised crime group, had organised the importation into the United Kingdom, closely assisted by Byron Milne. In the video, Byron Milne can be seen arriving at Six Grisdale Road, wearing gloves and taking suitcases into the house. These suitcases were used to hide the drugs for subsequent transportation across the UK. Inside the house, a massive haul of drugs was found, 168 kilos of cannabis resin, 64 kilos of amphetamine, together with 200,000 ecstasy tablets, with a combined street value of £4.5 million. Stephen Petrie, who was a close associate of Jason Seal, was charged in connection with this initial seizure. By now, the investigation team had identified Edwin Gawley, who had been responsible for supplying the drugs seized at Grisdale Road on the 22nd of December. The investigation eventually led to Jason Seal, together with Edwin Gawley and Theodore Van Gelder, all being arrested in Holland and a handgun was recovered. They were extradited back to the UK for trial with the other defendants who were all arrested. During the arrest phase, a large quantity of mobile phones were recovered, some of which contained incriminating evidence. From the mobile phone of Edwin Gawley, a cannabis cultivation farm can be seen, together with him stood next to the equipment used to run that farm. There was also a photograph showing Jason Seal, together with Wayne Brond, snorting cocaine. Wayne Brond has written his name in cocaine on the table. The results on this operation show Titan's dedication to tackling serious and organised crime across the North West. It shows our commitment to pursue organised criminals wherever they operate, whether that's in the North West or internationally. We will bring them to justice and we will ensure that any proceeds of crime that they've made from their criminal enterprise is removed from them.